Hey everybody, welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. I lost a video. I'm sorry. Got corrupted. I don't know what happened to it and it's unrecoverable, but... Lucky for you, not too much actually occurred. We unlocked another character class that is the Mime, which is actually kind of fun to use. So we'll go through him, or we'll go through the next dungeon with the Mime, I think, just to show that off. Also unlocked the Crone's Knowledge Talisman. Which we can use to uh, increase our starting hand size by one in battle for the first two fights of a dungeon. Also, I believe we had Hug in a Bottle last time. I'm pretty sure we did. And we grabbed the Leather Worker, which unlocks the Leather Mound Tomb, the Skull Cap, the Mage Robes, and the Wolf Pelt. We grabbed the Mage Robes a couple of times in that mysterious episode that will never see the light of day. But, for now, let's go out and see what we've done out here as well. We completed the Goblin Menace, of course, that's all well taken care of. Uh, completed the first of the adventures in None Shall Pass. To test your metal, all we had to do was kill a skeleton. That actually proved to be a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, but... Nonetheless, let's go into the Fire Lord adventure again. Scorching spoils! We're going to loot Embro's treasure. We're going to take the Mime in here to do that, and I think I'm going to go with the Hug in the Bottle, actually, to give ourselves some extra health for the first two fights with the Mime. Let's do it! Hoping for a level 1 monster in this hand, and we did indeed get one in a few decent rooms. I think we'll go ahead and start out by going this direction. Uh, probably want to fight the ghost first out of these three enemies. The ghost, the zombie, and I believe this is a fire elemental. Yeah, and he's pretty tough to deal with, so... We're going to have to be pretty well prepared before we get into that room. Let's hope we can make some good plays here. Waving a pretend sword. And the mime is totes adorbs goes through with uh, bracketed expressions of his intent everywhere. Uh, imaginary box is okay here. Fiery weapon is a pretty strong card for the fire ramp, actually. That kind of surprised me. Let's go with uh, stage presence here and hopefully discard what may end up being a more powerful option. There we go. Yeah, that worked out beautifully. So stage presence is pretty darn useful. You wouldn't think so, but being able to actually discard one of your enemy's next two cards Proves to be pretty darn useful. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of Fiery Weapon again in favor of Flare, which is going to be a little bit better for us. And it's going to give us the kill. So the Mime is kind of about controlling your opponent's deck to a degree, or maybe even using some of their cards to your advantage. Because you also have that card Copycat, which creates a copy of the opponent's top deck card and puts it in your hand. So it's pretty darn useful in that respect as well. Let's go ahead and build up a room out here. We'll drop that this way as well, and then I suppose that'll do it. We'll probably just double back to this and deal with it as we go. This ghost fight might be a little <laughs> over the top. Ooh, phase. Might be a little tough. The ghost is tenacious, can only be killed if it's on one health, so... Kind of difficult there. I think I'm going to go with stage presence here, because pain is probably one of his weaker cards, and oh yeah, getting rid of swoop is fantastic. That is a very powerful card. Uh, I think we'll just rekindle to kind of counter his play here and hopefully get some magic defense next turn. We didn't. We can maybe do stage presence again, although that's going to... Uh, he's going to block that. Yeah, so I guess we just do imaginary box and hope that we end up with something a little bit better. Actually, if we do imaginary cannon here, that might work out okay. So let's go for that. Bring him out to two health, and we're at one, so hopefully we'll be in good enough shape. Mind Strike isn't terrific here. I don't know if he even actually has a quick attack. So let's maybe do Stage Presence and hope that we can make him discard one of his more powerful options here if he doesn't get, indeed get one. Yeah, there we go, okay. And I think that puts us in a position to win the fight. Nice. Alright, that deck control, as long as he can do that fairly well, the mime usually ends up working out okay. The glyph is quite nice, it gives us a magic defense, but the robes, again, they are really good. In fact, this is way better. Why would I not take that? <laughs> it's, it's basically the same thing, plus one card there, so there's no reason not to grab that. We also get a head option here. We get Restore, which could be nice. Cooking Pot is awesome as well. I love Flame Lash for that quick two damage if we ever need it. And Mail Coif I do not think is worth it for the two stupidity cards, so I think we'll take Cooking Pot. Just put us in a great spot here, especially because it makes her look so cute. I like that a lot. See what kind of mysterious fountain we have in play. Hopefully it's not one that's bad. It is. Fountain of Combustion. Fighters gain burn next fight. Darn it. Well, let's 
put a couple of bear owls in here because the fire elemental I really do consider one of the most difficult level three enemies. And meanwhile, the bear owl I usually don't have too much trouble dealing with, although that fury can get pretty dangerous. So we want to make sure we are uh, doing our best to keep him at that level of damage. Parry I don't like. Oh, I would kind of wish I'd kept my block for the neurotoxin, but I think. We'll go with Stage Presence so we can kind of control him while he's trying to control us. Go ahead and block off the bite there. And now, sadly, we're down to two options. Focus is pretty great. Gives us the card draw, the health, and the additional magic damage. Rekindle, all of a sudden, becomes quite nice. Okay, he is still at four, so we should be good here. And I'm going to gain some health here. And then maybe do Copycat next time to see what kind of cards he's got. Oh, he's going to play a Restore. Okay. We'll do copycat. I think that's not bad. One unblockable physical damage isn't great, but it's not terrible either. We'll go for a card draw here, too, just to give ourselves a pretty significant advantage. He's got some good stuff coming up now, though. Imaginary box sets us up okay. He's getting one hit of damage in, but the fire blast here is actually going to be very nice. And then hopefully we can draw our, our flame lash or something like that and be able to win this one. Otherwise, we might be dead here, in fact. Uh, I think Bash wins it. I'm pretty sure Bash wins it. Yeah, good. Okay, that was close. We're gonna need a lot more help in the form of some uh, good offhand stuff. Oh, Tenacious! Wow! Can't be killed unless I'm one health. That's terrific. I'll take Wooden Shield. That's very good. Now, sadly, we have Combustion for this next fight, though, so we're really gonna have to hope hopefully deal a lot of damage. I'll drop a Bandito in here, and then I don't have enough rooms to be able to form a path over to the fire, fire Elemental, but I'm sure we'll be able to do that without too much trouble. I love Tenacious for us. That's pretty fantastic. And at least we're both burning here, too, so that's not the worst thing in the world. I guess we'll rekindle. Just try to stay ahead of him in hearts as much as we possibly can. That's not going to take him down to Fury, luckily. We'll hold on to the Flame Lash for sure. And let's see if I can control his deck a little bit here. Neurotoxin's not bad to get rid of, and I like having him play the Claw next turn. In fact, we just won. Wow. That worked out really nicely. Okay, hopefully we get a decent weapon here now. We're still rocking that Arcane Wand. We did indeed get something pretty good here. Dumping off Rekindle in favor, in favor of Blinding Light and Smite. Or we could take Slice and Dice. Hmm... Plus one versus unblockable. That's interesting. I think I'd rather have the winged staff, though. I love having that uh, block all attack card. That is a very nice one to see. Okay, we'll drop that room in there. Probably fight another bandito along our way just to make sure we are very well prepared for that final chest. Confidently goose stepping forth. He just feels invincible now. Minus one health of in a dead end. I don't think that's what happened here. Uh, I like Mind Strike. Counters his discard and keeps us at pretty even health. Copycat's not bad, especially considering he's already played two of his weaker cards. Oh, we got a Stagger. Nice. Well, I guess we'll just go blow for blow here for the most part then. We do have to discard. Oh, I think we discarded one of our good ones actually. Oh my god. Holy crap, that's terrifying. Okay, well I guess we're just going to do focus and then hope for the best. Luckily, he can't kill us unless we're down to one health, so we're looking okay still here, and I think this is actually going to win the game. Nice. Good Flame Lash. We got that stacked up bonus from the focus beforehand, too. Uh, Wolf Pelt on the body is okay, but not as good as it could be. What are we rocking right now? I believe that's a level 2 item, so I, it's probably going to be my best bet to go with the Wolf Pelt. We lose really good cards if we do that, though, so maybe I don't go that route. This is actually not bad. Cerebrate is amazing, actually. Let's go with the Bone Helmet. Replace the Cooking Pot. All right, we've got some really good stuff now. I don't think we need anything else apart from gold, so let's just go with this. An overly happy face. I'm so glad he's feeling good about it now. What a sweetie poo. The zombie should not be an issue, especially considering we have a ton of options for dealing multiple points of damage in any, tur in any given turn. And yeah, I think he's going to die from this. Almost. One more heart of damage ought to do it. And let's just... Well, yeah. <laughs> Make him kill himself, sure. Gain two hearts of damage. 
Uh, none of this is going to be good, so we'll just grab some gold. See what's in the chest, too. Probably not anything I want. Although, well... No, I lose Tenacious if I do that, so yeah, that's a terrible idea. Just gold. Just gold will do. And massive gem. Gold pouch. And gold pouch. Hurrah! Counting out some coins. He's going to be so wealthy after this. Look at this wonderful person. Oh, we can't get another massive gem, sadly, so I'll just... I'll just tempt myself. Actually, I guess I could have... Maybe altered it so I go in that direction first, but... I'm not too greedy, I guess. That's a big stack of cards, man. Oh my god. We're pretty well set up here. Block of the imaginary box. Oh, he's got a parry, but we've got a repel. Prevent the damage... <laughs> preventing all damage thus far. Oh, this isn't good, though. Actually, it worked out pretty darn well. Holy crap, though. He's got so many options. He probably doesn't have that strong attack coming up next, but okay, we at least get to rid of the uh, discard. That is not terrible. Been an interesting battle thus far. I think we're going to be okay. We'll focus and then probably kill with the imaginary cannon next turn if we can. Ooh, god, wow. I kind of like that. Another two card draw and we get a health advantage on him too. Yeah, man. This is so much fun when I have so many options. I really like it. Uh, mind strike? No, let's just let's just kill him. I think we've got enough of a health advantage now to where I can just do whatever I want, basically. There we go. Mind strike takes him down. We had five cards in our hand at the end of that fight. I love it. Warhorn in the offhand. Still really prefer that tenacious. I think that is very, very good. And then this is okay, but not good enough. So we're just going to be taking some gold. I love our build right now, actually. I think our build at the moment is pretty fantastic. And I don't think I need to fight anything else. So let's just end the turn, pick up some gold, and then head into the chest room and call it a day. Call it a ship-shaped good day. Uh, yep, we're done. Off to the fire elemental. Could still lose this, so we got to make sure I'm playing really well here, making all the correct decisions in these... In these rounds. Luckily, Tenacious may end up being a saving grace here. We are exactly even in health. It's 7-7 seven to seven right now. Ooh, that's a great start. That's a great starting play. Gives us a two-card advantage. And a little bit more health, too. Three unblockable damage is terrific. I can't block anything he's getting through right now, so maybe do stage presence just to control the game a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Get rid of the acrid fog there. And then I uh, actually kill him with the arcane barrage because I'm going to deal three to his one and he's going to burn to death next turn. Awesome! We did it! All right! The fire elemental is down and I'm just taking gold, man. Taking the money. Now showing off is quite a bore and certainly not becoming. But what we have here next in store will surely have you running. I don't know, man. We're starting to feel a little more confident now. I think you're the one that's going to be running. Build out the blacksmith. Getting some of these extra goodies. I'm not building this synchronous to other rooms at all. I'm I'm the worst person. I'm, I apologize dearly if that's bothering you. <laughs> but all the same, the guild is looking quite nice now. So we got all the 50 gold upgrades. Looks like we're going to be hanging onto our gold for a while and hopefully getting some good stuff as a result. Now let's see what our options are. Get strong enough to beat the Mimic before she catches you. This should be a fun one. I think I'm going to use my Bruiser this time. And maybe go Crone's Knowledge, although that doesn't really help the Bruiser so much. Maybe we'll go with something like Trickster's Favor instead. Plus one loot choice slot after the first two fights. See how we fare. Shall bring the dungeon forth to us. Now. You're the one who looted my grandparents. Die, evil adventurer! The Mimic Queen will chase us through these halls, and she can actually move two spaces per turn. But a way that you can prevent her from moving forward is to throw enemies in her path. So that's what we're going to have to do this time, especially considering we didn't really get any... Uh, any enemies to battle this time around. 
And he's actually going to be moving backward if I don't change things up here. So hopefully this corridor changes his mind. He decides to go for the Fountain of Blindness for some reason. That was a terrible starting handset. I'm really disappointed by that one. So hopefully we get some good stuff here. All right, so we can throw a bunch of guys in her way. So we'll start with the Fire Imp and the Spider. And then we will fight the Goblin in this room. And hopefully we can get some stuff in the next hand to be able to actually build out and go fight some level 2 monsters and be in better shape for the Mimic Queen herself. I'm not going to be able to see what the Goblin is doing, so I might have to just assume that he's going to play some pretty basic cards. I was correct thus far. Uh, let's go with get that out of here this time as well. Okay, that's a headbutt. That works out all right for me. And uh, let's go with an Oi, I guess. Anger works. Just need one more point of damage, and that's going to be in the form of an unblockable hit. How do you like this? All right, let's get something on that bald head, shall we? Maybe just a hand axe. I think I'd prefer a hand axe to troll femur, honestly. I think I'd rather have guaranteed options for damage. All right, we're slowing down the Mimic Queen well enough so far. That's a lot of hope that I'm not really looking for, unfortunately. All right, we're gonna throw a Bear Owl in her path and more than likely not go try to fight the thing. Go grab some gold instead, and then maybe we'll be able to just fight two regular Mimics and get enough goodies from that. We'll see. This is going kind of suboptimally thus far, but I'm still sticking in there, sticking with it. All right, that's a great room to see. There's a great gold pouch, and then just a goblin, I guess. We'll get another level one item and hopefully be set up in time. Maybe even just kind of go around in a circle here and hopefully get enough goodies to deal with the upcoming threat. Pretty obvious choice there. Headbutt puts us at a heart advantage, and now the bash is going to be terrific. Three hearts of damage right there, and then we get an unblockable to finish him off. Love the bruiser, man. He's looking good. Looking real good. Okay, this is the only other time we're going to have four options, so unfortunately they're both level one. Uh, Soldier's Helmet. I think I'd rather have the Fire Blast, just in case. Just in case we need some other options if they can block a whole bunch of physical here. And there goes the Bear Owl. So, luckily we got a few Dread options there. This is looking pretty good. Uh, Corridor is still not getting us what we need, but we're going to fight a Mimic anyway, so we're okay. Let's drop this there. Let's drop the uh, Bandito right there. And I guess that's pretty much all we've got going on. Yep. That's all we can do. Hope for the best. I'll have you. I'll destroy you, son of Mimic Queen. Still not stoked on our situation, but I think we'll be all right. So we're going to have to deal one damage and counter the one unblockable. Got a bash to deal with his anger. That's fantastic. And darkness. Yeah, there's some of that magic damage I was kind of expecting. Let's go with the slice to stay ahead in hard damage, and then we should be good to go with the get out of here. Could have blocked the pain, I guess, but what are you going to do? Shimmering Cloak, one I like very much. The Flame Lash, two quick damage is quite good. Skullcap's nice as well, a lot of physical blocking, and then the Glyph would replace our Fire Blast, so I think I'm going to hang on to that. Actually, I think I'll go with uh, Skullcap here. Although he does have a lot of defensive options already, so let's go with something that's a little bit more offensive-minded in the form of the Shimmering Cloak. All right, she's still... a couple of rooms behind us. Didn't really get the corridors I was looking for that time either. But I will build out that just to make sure I'm on pace. And then we can throw another Bandito in her path to make sure we're looking okay. Help me brova bash you. Not only am I going to bash you, I'll get my siblings involved. And they are much more efficient bashers than I. All right, we're probably not going to be taking advantage of Brittle in this fight. And that was a terrible three-card draw there. That's unfortunate. Have to go with how do you like this to at least deal one damage. Okay, blocking the drain, that's good. Looks a lot better to me. He got another one, though, so we're going to have to draw, I think. Yeah, that's going to be what maybe puts us in a better spot. I'd really like to be able to block a lot of his damage. We got the Flame Lash, so we might be able to use that near the end of the fight here, but we're still looking like we're in dangerous territory. That Anger Draw might have saved the day here, though. Oh, yeah. Started bad, ended up really, really good, and now we're setting up for something great. Let's see what we got. 
mage robes on the body. He's not... Well, he's rocking the shimmering cloak right now, but apparently the mage robes would just give us holy seal, and that's it. Tattered mail, however, is not so great. I think we'll take mage robes simply because that's an obvious upgrade to what we had before. All right, it's not... Not very promising, but I feel better about what we got right now. I don't think I'm going to risk dropping another mysterious fountain there, so let's instead put this right there. We'll drop a massive gem in this room, and we'll fight a bear owl. And that should give us a level 3 trinket or something. I think we're missing an offhand. No, we have an offhand. We need a helmet. That's what we're looking for from this bear owl fight, so let's hope for the best. Three cards give us Flame Lash. Oi, and you trying something. Restore is going to get through, so sadly he's going to be ahead of us in health by quite a bit, actually. Goodness. That is not good at all. I don't want to use the Flame Lash, but that's all. It's the only option I have right now. That sucks. Oh, boy. We're getting bad results here. This is good. Block the head blow and deal some damage in the process. He's got Fury, too, so as soon as we deal another point of damage... He's going to be dealing double the physical damage for each attack, and that is pretty unfortunate as a result. Oh, I think we're going to be yeah, down one heart. Bite gets through no matter what, so we just got to fire blast and hopefully get a quick attack or something. He's going to strike, which is going to kill me, and I can't block it. Are you serious? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Wow. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. How many ways can a dungeon here die? Before you call it a day. How many children must you make cry? After that pitiful display. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. We got Cinch anyway. He looks way better. Well, that was an unfortunate result from that fight. But hopefully we'll fare a little bit better next time. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Guild of Dungeoneering. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Apologies for the, uh, for the jump in content here on this game, but nothing I can do about that corrupted video, unfortunately. Thanks for watching! I'll see you next time.